You fucker! Scratch voices echoes in the empty bathroom before she presses your mouth onto hers. Yours, sorry. Following you as she shoves you backwards into an open stall. You try to keep your balance as she moans hungrily into your mouth, swelling her tongue around your s and slathering your lips in saliva. She pulls back, panting, and closes the door with a nudge from one of her hind legs. I didn't remember you being such a tease last time. When the occasion calls for it, Scratch smirks and plunges back in for another kiss, which you happily return. As your lips press together, parting and pulling every wave, a few seconds to start anew, you run your hooves, one of your hooves, along her fur, tracing her down her spine and resting on her ass, where she grinds forward against your body as you touch her. No more waiting. She pants before diving into another kiss. Several more follow before she continues. Rut me. Right here. I need it bad. You're not the only one to leave a lady hanging, of course. See, since it seems like Scratch might not step her tor stop her torrent of kisses without your insistence, you push her away from with your hooves. Her mouth is slick with saliva and she doesn't wipe it away this time. Instead, she turns around waving a colorful red underwear wedged between her luscious behind. Come on, hurry up. I don't remember you being this impatient last time. You say with a tinge of referential sarcasm. Vinyl didn't respond, but simply rolls her eyes, tilting her head back in disdain. Really, there's not any extra encouragement you need, but bearing, hearing her beg it for it makes it only makes it more fun. You pull her thong out of the way again, this time with one of your hooves, and rest her rest your legs on Vinyl's back as she bends fo herself forward, leaning against the door f for support. The heat of your on your member as you align yourself is up is intense, and you move your hips back and forth once or twice, sliding yourself against the wet entrance before you line yourself up. You rest your head just at the outside of Vinyl's pussy, teasing the very tip inside before withdrawing again. After almost a minute, Scratch is practically throwing her hips back at you. She turns around and her eyes are red with fire. Goddess, just put it in. Are you going to make me beg for it? Her verse is shaky and cracking, a far throw away from her usually composed tone on stage hour during announcements. And what if I am? Fuck! Fuck me, please. I need it so bad. Just put it in me. Fuck me with your big cock. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Such a dirty mouth for a young lady. Still, she did say please. You're telling me. Vinyl gas as she thrusts forward, sliding into her with one motion. She clenches around your dick after the first inch, hot and tight, as the rest of your length goes in slower, making you groan as you finally bottom out. Her pussy clenches around you every few sections, seconds, grasping at your hardness almost ins insistently. Insistently. God damn these big ones. I suck. Vinyl is panting. Nah, don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> Vinyl is panting as you stay here, there for a second, buried inside her. Without even a request, Vinyl grinds herself down onto the base of your shaft, twisting her ass in circles. While she clenches around you, the feeling of her wet hole squeezing your dick is almost enough to turn your momentum around. When combined, <laughs> <laughs> when combined with the side of her ass juggling, jiggling, sorry, it's a juggling, inches away from your face, but you know how excited she is. And you're not not about to be one-upped. You move your, your hooves up to her ass, grabbing her cheeks hard as you pull yourself out, leaving just the tip for a minute before sliding in slowly. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Scratch moans and, gr and grinds one of her hooves sideways against the stalled door as you enter, in inch by inch. As you can feel her walls spasming even tighter this time. And just like that, you're back in control. There's only so much teasing you could take, though. Especially with the ass bouncing in front of you all night. The next thrust is quicker. You pull out and push back in hard. And scratch out. Scratch lets out of a louder, louder moan as you slam into her. The feeling of her cheeks pressed against your crotch is a memory to save her for the future. For, na for the now, however, you have heard that blue-haired DJ with a spectacular backside ready to get fucked silly. Nope. More prep time necessary. Your mind mentally switches from single thrust to a more rapid movement as you start fucking Scratch in earnest, slamming yourself all the way in inside hard and fast. Scratch's moan is muffled as she's biting her lip as you pound her and slamming one of her hooves into the metal walls in distracted ecstasy. Her eyes are shut tight as her and her hair is a mess, skewed shades poking out from the blue spikes in a haphazard manner. 
You thrust again and again, and Scratch meets every movement, slamming herself against your rod as hard as you're pushing forward. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> That's the reader who's reading this. Scratch's voice is a blur through her as he came, torrent of as, moments. As he came, into, <laughs> as he came onto his keyboard. No, 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 no. no, no. I'm just I'm reading sorry. as it says here. I'm not... I don't do that, that ain't me, dude. I just want to make a bad shit, sex man. joke. I'm not into that shit. She sounds like she's on another planet. As you notice her babbling incoherently, I meant her groaning. It occurs to you there might be an extra factor in why she's enjoying herself so much. You blink, suddenly aware of your vision blurring ever so slightly. What was that pill she gave you anything? Fucking her feels good. It feels better than you remember from last time. Better than any that any time you re can remember right now. You can feel every vein in your shaft tingling with the sensation of vinyl scratches, wetness wrapped around as you slide inside her. Even though your hips are pounding forward with enough force to buck a tree full of apples, the slick sensation feels slow and deliberate. And there's that view. Again, the panties make her even look even more sexier. Pulled to the side, a thin strand of bright red fabric rubbing against the side of your cock as you slide in and out. Scratches juicing a pouring, soaking your shaft and the fur around your base every time you plunge into her. You blink again. Scratches voices a long, continuous moan as you try to cr catch the snippets of words mixed in, but they are incomprehensible. The music from the club as that was blaring even through the bathroom with walls was, has faded. You're not sure if the set's over or if the sound of Scratch's moaning is too enticing to notice anything else. You can't notice anything else, really. Just the way she's arching her back in front of you, lifting her ass up into the air and then bending it back down to your dick. The words are blurring again, this time on into an unnoticeable stream of profanity. You're moving as fast as your body can register, but slow inside your head. You're watching as you pull out of her, she w and she wiggles her ass, waiting for you to push it back in. You feel her her lips against your head as you push, folder, push forward, and her cunt envelops you again, sliding over your shaft as you feel the tip of your cock pressing against her inner walls. She's dripping everywhere. You're coated in her wetness. It's on your fur, and some of it on the bathroom floor. Time isn't working properly, as you... You think you feel the base, and it's pushing you forward. Your body is hot. When you run your hooves over Vinyl's back, she feels cold, like ice. Her ass is soft as you rub it in again, hard. You sl you're slamming into her now, and her face is pressed up against the stall door. Her hoof has left a mark on the wall, scraping it away at the thinly coated metal. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck! <laughs> The volume isn't from the music, as it's from her screaming. She's so loud. How can no one else be hearing this? The way she's pressing back onto you, it's like she's afraid. Like she needs you inside, and she's squeezing you now. Her pussy is clenching around your shaft as she's grinding herself onto you. On you, moaning and panting. You try to move it to pull back, but she follows you, her backside pressing you down as you land clumsily on the toilet seat. She's still riding you, bobbing herself up and down so hard it almost hurts. You're so hard it almost hurts. She's cleansing so hard that, you, that it feels like she's, she's going to tear it off. Ow. <laughs> ah, oh, my dick. <laughs> <laughs> she stops it off. <laughs> God damn. Vinyl score stops suddenly as she lets out a breath like an exhausted hiss. She's still impaled on your cock and she's resting on the floor with her hoof on her forelegs. Her whole body is rattling as she breathes. You can feel every intake of air as she, the way her stomach is rising and falling the way she tightens around you just a little bit each time time is still blurry but you feel like a refreshing pattern of thought emerging out of your momentary clouding are you okay it seems like an inappropriate question you were fucking her so hard you were surprised you didn't break something that and the way she rode you at the end she was screaming so loud things were always more complicated when drugs are involved Vinyl takes a several deep gulping breaths before she lifts herself up, Gro going into a proper sitting position on your cock. You can't help but groan quietly as, as the extra pressure pushes you further inside her. Out of the corner of your eye, you notice something from where she was leaned over onto the floor, and on the door too, a bright red streak. Oh shit, are you bleeding? A jolt of panic hits you as Scratch turns her face towards you. Maybe you did break something, you were slamming her so hard on into the door. 
She smiles at you. One of the lens of her shade is cracked, and yes, she is bleeding. Her nose, there's blood everywhere. Uh, it's a line going down from her face, from her nostrils. Yeah, a little. I get bad nosebleeds every once in a while. Nothing to worry about. Her voice is shaky, but surprisingly down to earth, considering how hard she had just got railed. Unsurprisingly, her reassurance isn't very comforting. Are you sure? You look like you've hurt. Maybe we should probably... Dude, seriously. Totally fine. I just came harder than I think I ever can't have in my life. Don't ruin the moment. Sides, you, don't you still need to get off? I... Uh, you try to avoid the Im inevitable answer, but final grins as cleanses her muscles around you. You can't help but let out a small groan as she smiles even wider. I owe you after that. You want to finish in my mouth? But your nose, don't sweat it. Won't get in the way. You vaguely consider asking whether or not the bleeding has even stopped properly. But final moves before you can collect the words. The cold air on your still achingly hard erection as she pulls herself, eh, herself off is far from welcome. But she quickly replaces it with the sensation with another warm one. You feel the tiny spatter of something damp bef before her mouth wraps around your head. She licks the tip at first, running her tongue under your head and circling all around the sides before she pulls her mouth off and traces up and down your shaft, licking every drop of her girl cum off each side of your cock. You notice as she moves up, moves her head up and down as that there's still small dribbles of blood trickling off her face, but everything she's doing feels so too good to give you a chance to protest. Besides which, the way she looks slobbering all over your dick, completely depraved of, with blood pouring from her face, it's kind of even more of a turn-on. You make a mental note to do an assessment of your fetishes sometimes this weekend. Vinyl spends a minute or two caressing your shaft with her tongue, occasionally lickly, licking around the base and tickling your balls with her mouth, before she raises up her head up and opens wide. She dives down and takes as much of your length as she can, with an impressive three quarters at least. She tries to push further, as you feel her gagging a little as your head t hits the back of her throat. Still not all the, all the way, but at least she's giving it her best. She lifts her head undaunted and slobbers on your head for a moment, coating you in saliva, and in the occasional drop of br bright red before she plunges down again, choking slightly as she tries her best to take every inch of your cock. The enthusiasm more than makes it up for her deep throat shortcomings, and you have to fight, not to thrust upwards into her mouth, especially important she, as she, if she's having difficulty already. After a, couple of, after a couple of false starts, she seems to manage a sort of rhythm, probably moving to whatever bass and drums are still playing in her head. Her mouth isn't as tight as being inside her. You certainly can't pound her as hard this way, especially given that she's already leaking blood on you every once in a while. But her technique is admirable, and the way she's in so in, she's so into it, moaning and slobbering all over your shaft, struggling her hardest to swallow your shaft every time. It's almost as good as you can feel yourself getting close, which is great, except... Oh, uh, Scratch, sorry, this is really good. I'm pretty close, but I was just wondering. Scratch pauses as she looks up to you with curious eyes. Half of your dick is still inside her mouth. Her muzzle, muzzle is magnified with blood from her nose as you feel your cock twitch of its own accord. Hmm? I just, uh, I've been kind of checking your ass out pretty much all night, and as good as this blowjob feels, I really, really want to come on your ass. You're not normally the type of guy to make a request at zero hour, but you can't let yourself give up a chance to blow your load on such a pedestal of posterior perfection. The scratch pulls your dick off, pulls off your dick with an ah and and a long strand of saliva. <laughs> 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 Sorry. A long strand of saliva hangs from her lips to the head of her twitching cock. She grins at your blood strip, still dripping off to the end of her nose and chin. You really. Sh should get that checked out when you're done. Never had anyone ask me that before, Beef. You really think my ass looks nice? Mm. Your eyes almost rolled in the back of your head and scratch lowers herself to the floor and turns around, presenting her fantastic backside. Really, what you like to do is more than just spray your load all over her it. But you that could wait for another visit. Yes, extremely. Ancient civilizations have died in wars over the defense of national treasures. Less precious than that. Ass! Scratch giggles and presses herself on into you, rubbing her butt up and down at your cock, sandwiching you between her cheeks. You groan as she grinds herself up and down, sliding her soft skin and occasionally the touch of her red fabric over your slippery rod. 
Damn, I can see why they picked you to judge that contest. Nice to meet a guy with a healthy appreciation for a lady's assets. Back and forth, quips can wait. You can already feel your balls tightening as the sight of Scratch's panty-clad butt grinding against your crotch. The way her cheeks wrap around your dick perfectly, squeezing it like a pair of hooves, giving it a perfect mix of friction and softness. Maybe that reputation would be well-deserved, after all. What was it Applejack started in with that ended in the contest anyway? Started dirty talking, right? Never had a farm girl had like that pegged for such a filthy mouth. Vinyls could be talking about anything. You're too distracted to care. Hmm, you gonna come for me? Cover, kinda co cover my perfect ass with a big load of your jizz? Fuck. Whoa, that's not necessary. You're trying to make the sensation fucking scratch his butt. Sort of. As long as possible. Scratch is right. Applejack did have a filthy mouth on her. And that kind of talk is such is a sure fire away to push you over the edge. Or any other pony who got a chance to slide his cock between Vinyl's cheeks. Scratch giggles as she turns to you, still bouncing herself up and down against your dick, rubbing her ass back as hard as he can. She almost beg enjoying herself too much. What does... Me begging you cover, to cover me in your cum gets you going? I'm sorry, I can't help it. You make me cum so hard, I need to see you blow your load over my tight little ass. <laughs> what? I don't want to, I want to feel you spray it all over my back and onto my cute red panties. Oh, Jesus Christ, this sounds like a freaking bad porno. <laughs> <laughs> we are such, I'm, we are so damn immature. <laughs> Scratch bats her eyelashes seductively as she continues grinding Wait. one look at her face, sweaty and sultry, and still darkening with her nosebleed. And you can't hold on. You don't have time to give a warning. Before you can say anything, your cock is exploding, spewing what feels like it was a year's worth of cum into, onto Vinyl's ass, along with a tight Damn. red thong. Just like she asked for, it feels like your brain is on fire. The sensations racking your body are more intense than anything you can remember. Whether the combination from the drugs or the prelude or all the ways you got to fuck that cute little blue-haired filly in front of you before she let you come on her amazing ass. You can't really tell. You're coming so hard you managed to spray a spurt or two on, in her mane and onto her face as well. Adding a streak of white to the red coating on the lower side of her face. Scratch jumps and a little in surprise as your blast hits her on the nose, but she smiles as she holds back a giggle as the rest of her load ends up in its intended target. All over her, her luscious, cream-colored backside. She gives a little shake of her rear as the last few drops leak out of your head in between her crack. You exhale deeply as Scratch pulls away, but quickly turns back around, draping herself over you and grabbing your neck between her hoofs before you could say anything she leans in for a kiss you taste tin you taste tin and a bit of salt Ugh. oh god damn uh, it Ew. Ugh. Ugh. a bit of Gross. salt along with your large helping of saliva as scratch jams her tongue into your mouth she moans and presses herself against you rubbing your chest against yours both of you feel hot now you're actually sweating a little the kiss is almost desperate Scratch is practically gay, gasping as she presses her mouth forward again and again. You try to ignore the feel of your still hard cock sandwiched between the two bodies as you kissed again and again. You sure not you're not sure when it will stop, but it's a passionate kiss, lustful, and you can feel the fire spreading from from your lips through the rest of your body. But it feels a little more than that too. That your tight your chest is tightening. And you catch yourself moaning back into Scratch's mouth, running your hooves through her disc shelf mane along with the back of her neck. The kiss keeps going, and you don't want to stop it. You just want to keep parting your lips hungrily, grabbing Scratch and bringing her closer, pressing your body against hers. The two of you share a passionate embrace. Eventually, your mouths apart, and both of you are left panting for air. Scratch's eyes are half open, and she looks at you. You don't feel entirely together together either that cat that kiss was something else more like a spark saying fuck me <laughs> you try to clear the thought out of your head as scratch wraps her forelegs around your neck we should uh you stammer your tongue feels too big for your mouth mind you, if i continue on yeah go right ahead we should uh you stammer your tongue feels too big for your mouth you can feel electricity in the air as 
scratch his nose first against yours. Your mouths are so close. You can feel her breath on your skin. Can almost taste her tongue again. Tinted with tin flavor red and the clumsy but perfect way she moves it around. Uh, we should get you cleaned up. Your nose is a mess. You pull back suddenly, standing and promptly scratches the car like their balance, going back to all fours. You follow suit, sliding yourself off the unused lavatory. Huh? Scratch looks confused. She blinks. Her face is flushed red, and you notice her lips are still pursued by for another kiss. Your nose, you say again, pointing with your hoof. It's, uh, you got, you kind of got blood all over it, all over your face. Scratch raises a hoof and presses it under her nose and pulls her back back quickly as she realizes how damp her fur is. She eyes her hoof and now strand a bright red. Oh man, I didn't even notice. I must look at me. Uh, excuse me. Oh man, I didn't even notice. I must look like a mess. It's fine, really. I just... It's fine, really. It's, I'm just a little worried about how long you've been bleeding. Is all. Let's get you cleaned up and we'll go straight and we'll go take care of your nose properly, okay? Scratch blinks her beautiful bright red eyes again and shakes her head slightly, apparently coming to sudden understanding of your request. Oh yeah, right. Let me go wash up and we'll uh head out. You shut the stall door as the two of you exit. Well you don't admit the pony, you just cleaned up the mess of both of your fluids. You've certainly you're certain he's likely seen worse as a cl- club janitor. You lean against the stall as Scratch buries her face in the sink. Water tinted gets red as she runs over her face. You can't help but let your eyes drift down, getting another perfect view of her ass. Now covered in your nuts. I mean... <laughs> what? <laughs> so you, you know, you... Seaman, come. You know what I Just mean. Just say it. Her red... Sorry. And her... And your cum. Her red thumb flashes as you bright as her... Bright as her eyes as you force yourself to avert your gaze. You better be careful, or else you can see yourself falling hard for this blue-haired DJ with a perfect ass. Finally, I- we are. That's the end of this story. And as always, people, always clean your keyboards regularly. Considering this one, dude, I think they really do need to. Yeah, really. Scrub it down with something, whatever. <laughs> get some freaking, get some freaking Lysol. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna take Lysol. Ugh. Get a mop. mop. How the hell does a mop gonna work on a laptop? It's like, ugh, it's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. It's like, oh, I kissed all over my screen. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's enough. Okay. <laughs>